Hey guys, good morning. Oh my land, just got done with two miles, but listen, before you shut me off, I want to say something to you. If you're watching me, I need you to know that this is not by accident. Don't, don't, don't push fast forward, don't click to another video, listen to what I have to say. A few years ago, I'm gonna tell you a story because I think it's very important. A few years ago, I had dinner with this amazing man by the name of Moses LaCour. Follow him, he's a financial advisor out of Florida. Anyways, he was in Houston. I went to dinner with him and most of you know that I'm a licensed financial consultant myself and he sat with me and he asked me to consider joining his firm and at that time, this has got to be about 10 years ago, at that time, I wasn't interested. I really wanted to focus on, I didn't know what the hell I wanted to focus on, but I wanted to focus on something other than financial services. So long story short, this is profound because his name happens to be Moses and he said to me, he asked me, Maritza, what do you love to do? Like truly, in, in your heart, and, and passionately, what do you love to do? And I said to him, I love to talk. I just love to talk. I love to motivate, I love to talk, but you know what? It doesn't pay me anything. And he said the most profound thing to me, and I wanna say this to you. He said, Maritza, focus on what you love to do, and the money will follow. And for whatever reason, that dinner, that moment was so intended and so divinely orchestrated because what ended up happening was I ended up deciding to uh, go drop off a check. I started working for a company doing some clinical medical research and we needed to do some marketing and I went in to this company to drop off a check for some marketing that we were doing and it just so happened that the owner of the station happened to be there. And he saw me walk in, I paid, I was, you know, obviously extremely energetic, like I always am. And the next thing I know, the editor, the producer of the show is coming up to me and saying, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? This was a Tuesday. And I said, just working. And she says, can you be here tomorrow at six o'clock? And I said, yeah. She says, the owner of the company just saw you and he wants you to be one of the broadcasters for Mi Casa Broadcasting, delivering a, 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 whatever you want to talk about, she said, on business and technology. And I said, I've, I don't have any television experience. She says, you don't need to. We're going to teach you. We're going to coach you. And so long story short, for a whole year, from Tuesday to Wednesday, I'm now a news broadcaster in Houston. Go figure. And so all of a sudden, these doors started opening up for me. And I thought, holy moly. You know, and I keep going back to Moses' speech to me about focus on what you love to do and the money will follow. So fast forward a few years later, we're at a convention and my one of my best friends, Patricia Marini, follow her. They have a restaurant here that was on diners, drive-ins and dives, which is freaking amazing. Amazing, amazing restaurant. But anyway, she's here in Houston and Patricia was sitting next to me and they announced this international weight loss contest. And I looked over to her and I said to her, I'm going to win this, Patricia. I'm going to win this. I had no idea how the hell I was going to win it. I didn't even know what the contest entailed. All I knew was that I had such a conviction that I said to her, I'm going to win it. So fast forward, February the following year, this was like around October, November time frame in 2016. Fast forward the following year, I get a call from the amazing Mr. Mark McDonald who says, hey, I want your story. We are so completely flabbergasted with what you've done. We want to feature you on our show, HLN, on the CNN network with Total Body Transformations. And so the next thing I know, I'm being featured, follow me, on HLN. And I thought, oh my God, this is crazy. And so again, once again, I got to use my voice for this gift that God gave only to me. Only to me. And so then, fast forward once again, here it is, 2018 time frame, or, or hell, whenever Super Bowl, whenever Super Bowl was here in Houston, I don't even remember. But I decided, you know what, there was so much negative talk about Uber drivers. There was so much negative talk about women as Uber drivers. So I made the decision, you know what, I'm gonna become an Uber driver. Now, I, I had no business being an Uber driver, but there was such a conviction in me to become an Uber driver. So long story short, I became an Uber driver. 
with not one single person teaching me what the hell to do. So my very first day as an Uber driver, I go to the airport to pick someone up and I get cited $400 for picking up in regular passenger pickup as opposed to pickup for individuals, for the TNC drivers, right? Or for the, for the rideshare drivers. I was so pissed off that I got home and I made a video and posted it on YouTube on what to do and what not to do if you were driving for Uber. Lo and behold, that one video went so viral that I then started making more money off of Uber referrals because at the time they were paying $350 than I was driving for Uber. Once again, using my voice. Then Hurricane Harvey hit in 2017. And what was really crazy about Hurricane Harvey was I was I wasn't I was where I wasn't supposed to be watching that damn Mayweather fight. Actually Mayweather probably owes me money. Um, long story short, we got flooded in my plea because I, I really thought we were going to die. I tweeted 911 someone please come to our rescue. I really need some help. We're about to drown and die. And that, 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 that one text got pinged all over the world. Within 20 minutes, firefighters were at our door rescuing us, not unbeknownst to me that while in the process of coming to rescue us, they had rescued about 20 other families that had been flushed out of their homes by, by what it looked like the Amazon River. It was horrible. So, so the next thing I know, I'm on CNN, I'm on Australian News, I'm on Good Morning America. And once again, using my voice, but what I didn't know was that I was being watched. And after about a couple of years, I get a phone call and it's uh, from someone from Twitter. From Twitter, can you believe that? Someone from Twitter. She says, we've been following you. We want to document your story. We want to do a documentary on you. So again, I'm gonna fast forward January of 2018, or no, 2019. Jack Dorsey, owner of Twitter, was in Houston for a convention. Baby girl and I, Cameron and I, were the guests, the guest speakers. They did a documentary on us, and Twitter was following us. They put us up, they treated us like kings and queens, like queens, because obviously neither she or I are a king, but you get my drift. And once again, I got to use my voice. So I'm saying to you, with all that I am, trust in your story. Trust in your why, trust in your purpose. Now we're here in financial services once again. It seems like the, my, my whole career has come full circle. I'm back to where I started about 27 years ago. And most of you are seeing what's happening in the market. It's ups, it's downs, it's fluctuations. And as I posted this morning, this market is gonna create more billionaires, more millionaires, or more witnesses. And I don't want you to get left behind because of the lack of education. There is a gentleman that I follow, his name is Mr. Al Edwards. And the reason that I follow him is because when I reached out to him a couple of years ago, he agreed to mentor me at zero cost to me after I'd already lost thousands and thousands of dollars because I really wanted to learn everything there was to learn about investing in the market, but I didn't have a mentor that was unselfishly willing to help me, and he stepped up to the plate. And so, so fortunately, fortunately, because of that, he has created students that are now master educators. And I urge you, follow him, guys. Learn what is happening. Participate. Doesn't take a lot of money to make a lot of money in this market. And people just don't realize that. I'm not trying to scam you. I'm not trying to rob you. I'm not trying to lead you down a, a bad path. Obviously, past performance, future performance are never any guarantees. But neither is life today, right? So I need you to take advantage of what's happening. Do something. And once again, understand what I'm saying to you. Live in your purpose. Remember your why. And you've got to be your why. And always continue to remind yourself, why did you get started in the first place? You had that reason, all right? Have an amazing day. Love you guys. Back to my workout. Bye.